Peekaboo. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good bedtime, good lunchtime, good breakfast, good supper, good snack. Speaking of food, this book has two of my favorite things, snow and pizza. Mm. The title of this is Pizza Pie Snowman. This is such a silly book. It's such a good story. Let's find out. This book was written, by the way, by Valerie Gorbachev. And this book was published by Holiday House. There's Pinky. Look how cute he is. He's got a job to do. And that's how it starts. Pinky had a job to do for Mommy to get a pizza with all their favorite toppings. He made a poem so he wouldn't forget. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. All of a sudden, bop! A snowball hit Pinky on the head. Pinky's friends, the squirrel boys, were throwing snowballs from their tree. Play with us, they said. Can't, said Pinky. I'm getting a pizza for my mommy. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. But the squirrel boys weren't listening. Bop! Another snowball hit Pinky on the head. Stop! Pinky shouted. And he kicked the tree with all his might. The tree shook and snow fell, covering Pinky from top to bottom. But Pinky didn't notice. He had other things on his mind. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. Down the road, the Skunk Sisters were building a snowman. That snowman is even better than ours, said one of the sisters. What does she mean? Pinky wondered. But he was in too much of a rush to find out. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. On Main Street, Pinky saw Mr. and Mrs. Wagner and their boy, Ben. He saw Mrs. Schnauzer and Mr. Mutton. All of them were abuzz with excitement. A walking snowman, he heard one of them say. Where? Pinky wondered. Pinky turned the corner and heard again, a walking snowman. Pinky looked all around him. Where? Where? Outside the bakery, Mr. Withers, Ms. Muzzle, Mr. Digger, and even the baker himself were talking about the snowman. And in front of the pharmacy, Officer Barker was reporting a walking snowman to headquarters. Pinky wanted to see the snowman too, but he didn't have a moment to spare. He had reached the pizzeria at last. Pinky rushed in and shouted, mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. One of the Coniglio Brut twins was so startled he dropped his dishes. A walking, talking snowman? Pinky didn't even notice. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. Mr. Coniglio laughed. A pizza pie snowman. Recognizing the pink little snout, Mr. Coniglio went to the kitchen to make Pinky's pizza. And while Pinky waited in the warm room, the snow that surrounded him started to melt. By the time the pizza was ready, the snow was all gone and a wet little boy stood in its place. Pinky ran as fast as a small boy with a large pizza could. Did you see the walking snowman? Asked Mr. Mutt as Pinky went by. 
Home in a flash, Pinky proudly delivered the pizza to Mommy. It had mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas, and it was still hot. After their delicious lunch, Pinky and Mommy took a stroll into town. They wanted to see the walking snowman too. I don't think they're gonna find it, are they? Cause who was the walking snowman? Oh, that Pinky. I like this story a lot. Pizza pie snowman. I miss you, friends. Mwah!